Hi, and once it focuses, there we go. Hi, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 6 of Z-Tech News. And my name is Johnny Z, and we're today we're talking about something that's in the news a lot. It's made mainstream news, and it's the game Fortnite. Yes, the game that everybody is playing. I've tried it, didn't like it that much. But it looks like it's captured the imagination of just about everybody out there. Now, <clears throat> this episode is not so much... Well, we're going to be discussing about how to build a proper um, uh, a proper build machine or a, a proper custom machine or a pre-built machine for the purposes of playing Fortnite. Now, this is not so much for the, for the high, hardcore gamers out there. You guys know what you want. You guys know what you need. There's no me of telling you what to do or what not to do. You know exactly what to do. So I am not talking to you guys. So you can turn off the uh, the uh, the video right now. But we're talking to the parents out there that their 10-year-old boy is going, I want to play Fortnite, I want to play Fortnite, I want to play Fortnite. So what we're going to be doing today is talking about buying a proper system without breaking the bank and also... Uh, making sure that the machine doesn't just get used for Fortnite. You know, there's homework to be done, and homework can be done on those machines very easily. Um, they're powerful enough to do whatever you need, so there's no question about that. So let's let's start off with a few things. First of all, you do not have to break your bank. Do not let your child convince you that you need to spend four thousand dollars on a computer just to play Fortnite. That is overkill, is not needed, and you're just wasting your money. If the kid's just playing Fortnite again, it, it's just a waste of money. And, you know, it will last you a while, but you don't need to spend all that kind of money. Now, to get it for $400, forget it. Impossible. It cannot be done. Even if you pick your own parts and, and build it yourself, won't happen. Four hundred dollars is just way too under. The, uh, there's, there's building the parts for a computer cannot even getting the cheapest parts cannot get you to the four hundred dollar level. So what you're looking at is anywhere between uh, uh, eight hundred to about twelve hundred on on the upper end. And I'll explain to you what you what uh, what items you need. So first of all, the easiest way to do this, okay, is to a lot of computer stores, especially the one that I work for, <clears throat> has pre-built machines that are pre-configured. They're custom machines, so they're so what the company does is take different parts like motherboards, graphics cards, hard drives, whatever, slaps it together, throws a price on it, puts it in a nice case, maybe puts some RGB lighting in the machine, and charges you uh, appropriately. But it's usually fairly inexpensive compared to some of the name brand stuff. Okay. So that's one of the things. Second of all, you can go in and build the machine yourself via motherboard, graphics card, power supply, all those items to make a machine together. Now, also don't forget you have to have, if you don't have a monitor, keyboard, or mouse that you have spare laying around, remember to budget those things in and uh, and put that towards the, uh, the Fortnite machine, okay? So, um, on the lower end of things, which is actually quite good, AMD makes the Ryzen 5G with Vega 11 graphics built into it. So what this means is that this is a CPU, comes with a cooler already. It's got, oh Jesus, I can't remember, six cores, 12 threads. So the machine has high capacity threads and cores so it can do multiple things at multiple times that's the that's the genius of the of the multiple core cpus so it's like realistically it's like six computers into one little chip okay that's the idea um and also what it has built in is built-in graphics that is capable of playing fortnite now you cannot play fortnite at the ultra level graphics but if you set them all to medium the game will run at 60 frames per second and it'll be more than enough for you know a 10 year old or a 12 year old to to get going on Fortnite and have some fun with that um so i was going to explain just a thought occurred to me i was going to explain what the game Fortnite is all about 
I'm not going to say it because you've probably been bothered to death by your son or daughter and how it works or how it plays. So there's no need to me to explain all that to you. It's just a waste of, a waste of time. And plus, there's tons of information on the web already that you can, you know, look up yourself and, and determine if the game is right for your kid. But, you know, some kids are very persistent and will push you to get them the machine. Okay, so with the AMD chip with uh, a, so, a sort of a low-end motherboard, low-end power supply. Um, again, you don't need a graphics card for this because it has the graphics built into the CPU. Uh, uh, sort of a, an inexpensive hard drive to put the game on it. And eight gigabytes of memory will run you roughly around $800. 800, 820, 850, depending on if you can, if you can find items on sale, that's even better. So that's your a good entry system. Um, if you you know if you go to your favorite local store or even online, look for those items and just do some shopping and comparison shopping and see what you can do, and that will build you a half decent system. And at the same time, that system can do homework. You can run, put Office on there. You can the kids can do their homework on it. So it's not just a gaming machine. It can be used as you know an everyday machine type of thing so kids can it won't just go wasted once you know fortnite expires or fortnite you know everybody jumps onto some other game type of thing and the machine's just sitting there so now the next step up is you can go with so you can also go with amd chips the one okay so now we're going outside built-in graphics even though all intel cpus the i3, i5, and i7 have built-in graphics is just for basic Windows. Don't even bother running graphical games on it. They don't know how to handle it. You'll be disappointed on its performance. It's just very basic. So from now on, I am not even going to mention the built-in graphics because it's it's nonsense in this terms. If you're just running, you know, surfing the web and doing email, it's fine. But if you want to play a game, forget it. So, Here's the, the next step for around the $1,000 to 1200 range. Pick yourself up an Intel i5, uh, preferably the 8400, or if you want a little bit more juice, pick up the, I think it's the 8600. I don't, don't quote me on that, but it's around there. And then also you can pick any of the Ryzen or the AMD Ryzen 5 chips. There's different speed levels on there, but they're all very good. So again, see what's on sale and pick up what you want so now with just the cpu you need a half decent graphics card now you can go crazy right again your kid can convince you to pick up a, an nvidia gtx 1080 again overkill not needed too much for what what little power the game needs on the higher end of the graphics uh the nvidia gtx 1066 gigabyte is a very good card will handle anything you throw at it especially if your monitor right here your monitor is a 1080p high definition uh, monitor it's more than enough actually it's a very good card and it's not lacking whatsoever now if you want to go a little bit cheaper you can pick up uh an nvidia 1050 or a 1050 ti they're roughly around the below 300 dollars range to about the the, about 320 for for the ti uh, again price uh price them out uh see what's on sale and then jump on them so that will get you on the lower scale of things and then you can get you don't have to get the best power, uh, motherboard motherboards are rated in a sense that they all do the same except one has more bells and whistles like rgb lighting blah 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 and others don't so try and you can cheap out a little bit on the motherboard. Also, the power supply. Do not cheap out on the power supply. Get yourself a half decent power supply so the machine lasts at least 10 years and it doesn't choke and doesn't blow up the components inside the computer. That's very, very important. Um, hard drives. Uh, an SSD hard drive, a cheap SSD hard drive will be fine. Plus, a cheap one terabyte hard drive for, you know, for for anybody to post. You know, not post, but to, to uh, put their saved documents on their videos music what have you nothing that needs super duper speed 
you know you can put that there so with the ssd if you put windows on there which will load a lot quicker i mean to the point where uh, if you're used to using mechanical hard drives and you put an ssd your eyes will flash open and say oh my god the speed is so good anyway that's one of the things and then you can put the game fortnite on there also so it gives it a boost uh, a little bit of a speed boost when it's loading the game and what have you so you know the little guys can get in there quickly and get ready to to play so in <clears throat> in that type of system when you're going with a separate graphics card you're you're looking around an 1100 1200 dollar range oh it will also if you're building the system <clears throat> Another thing that you can sort of cheap out on is on a case. You can get a computer case for anywhere between thirty to sixty dollars that are that are cheap, but actually are good. Don't go with the thirty dollar ones. Go with the sixty dollar ones, and by all means, just like I said in episode uh, four, make sure that it has enough fans in there to keep the machine cool because. If the person who's playing Fortnite is playing it for several hours and there's heat building up in the system, you don't want the machine to shut down prematurely because of uh, because of the heat build up. Get as many fans as possible in the case that come with it. Have them run all the time so the machine stays cool, under pressure, and there won't be any worries later, later down the road. Um, don't let your kid convince you you need 16 gigs of memory. You don't need it. 8 gigs is more than enough to run, uh, to run Fortnite and run everything else on your system. Again, don't overdo it. Hardcore gamer, sure. Uh, no problem. I still argue against that. But if you got the money, spend it. But 8 gigabytes is fine uh, for RAM. Uh, what else is there? Oh, keyboard and mouse. Okay, I saw this at the store and I almost freaked because the parent was freaking out. Do not let your kid convince you to get a Razer $200, you know, wireless mouse and a wireless optical mechanical keyboard for $400 or $300, whatever it was. The guy spent $510 for his 10-year-old son who doesn't need that high-end stuff just because, you know, his favorite Fortnite player online is using that equipment doesn't need doesn't mean junior needs to get that stuff there is very good stuff at a lower price point like a mouse for like 30 40 dollars even on the high end let's say 80 dollars you don't need a 200 dollars mouse an 80 dollars mouse will do just fine and also a keyboard you don't need a mechanical keyboard yeah sure they're great but if you want to get a lower end uh, a lower end um a mechanical keyboard you're roughly looking around 100 to 120 not 300 dollars so be aware of that don't let your kid con you to to spend up teen stupid amount of money especially on a keyboard and mouse done monitor a basic monitor with one millisecond ref refresh rate or uh gray to gray uh refresh rate or whatever it's called i can't remember right now i'm still half asleep coffee time hold on okay um yeah a basic monitor 200 dollars tops good to go they don't need 144 hertz 34 inch ultra widescreen monitor just to play fortnite not needed too much too stupid hardcore gamer sure that's your life that's no problem i accept that i know that i congratulate you on spending that kind of money um but for the kiddies out there, a basic monitor. Again, the same kid that I saw his dad spend $510 on a keyboard and mouse. They were talking about getting a monitor. And this kid somehow conned somebody at, a, at his dad's company to pick him up or to buy through his dad's account or whatever. A 34-inch ultra-wide screen, 144 hertz monitor that was worth $1,000. And when the dad found that out, all he did was look at his kid and say, get in the car now. Please don't fall into that trap. Yeah, all this stuff is fine and dandy. It's cool and stuff like that. But you have to negotiate with your child and make sure you're not getting screwed over. You don't need to spend that much money for Fortnite. You, whoops. You don't. Plain and simple. You don't need to spend that kind of money. I, you know, with a monitor, keyboard, blah, 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 with the machine built up and everything, 
you're looking around $1,200 to $1,300. Do not spend more than $1,500 or else that's crazy just for the kid to play Fortnite. And quite honestly, whatever game he falls into love later on, that machine will handle it no problem. That machine will be good anywhere between five to 10 years. It'll take him through elementary school, it'll take him through high school, even through college for doing homework. So please, 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 don't overspend for this bloody game. Don't, there's no need for it. Um, I think that's about it. If anybody has questions about Fortnite and uh, what they need to get, you know, look me up, contact me. Uh, uh, I am on Twitter, ZTech News, at ZTech News. You can ask me questions there. You can ask, also uh, ask questions right here on Facebook, or not Facebook, but YouTube. Just go ahead and just post the question. I'll try and answer it as quickly as possible uh, without getting into too many hairy and ugly details. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, what I'm trying to do here is educate people, have a little bit of fun doing this and understand how this whole PC industry works. And also because I work at a store, I see a lot of things that need clarification because a lot of people have misconceptions and I'm trying to sort all that stuff out. So please don't forget to subscribe to ZTech News. I'm Johnny Z. We'll see you next time.